My friend just got arrested after her work called the police to do a wellness check. So my friend old co-worker from a huge retail chain finally quit after 15 years. She had a breakdown after years of emotional and psychological abuse from working there trust me I worked and got away from there too. There was a misunderstand in here holiday schedule. They are closed every Christmas but the scheduling system scheduled her to work one of her set days off. She never checks the scheduling system. She has had the same schedule for 15 years. And I know for fact full-time employees get three days off during a holiday week. So they suspended her for missing her shift that she's had the same days of the week off her entire work history. During her suspension she calls me and she lets it all out. I encourage her to do what makes her happy. And stop giving your whole life to this selfish corporation. So she walked in one morning and quit on the job I was so proud of her. Then I haven't heard from her in a couple of days. I assumed she found a therapist to dump it all on, which was what I also encouraged. I can't take all my friends' problems on my own. So she calls my this evening from an unfamiliar number saying, I got arrested, put in handcuffs because work called to do a wellness check on me while I was on a walk near my house. She has severe anxiety, extremely quiet, shy, passive person. When the cops started questioning her state of mind she mentioned the insomnia she was experiencing. They asked the have you had thoughts of harming yourself and or others, she replied, in the emotional and physical state I was in, I could have. So they handcuffed her as she's screaming for her husband to intervene. But they took her away and she was able to make a phone call from the mental hospital to tell. She's not allowed to leave. She's on a five-day hold. She didn't commit any crime. I told her she needs a lawyer to sue work and the cops are I'm so frustrated for her free my friend you bastards. Edit she had her first therapy appointment one hour before the cops detained her. And the name of the retail outlet is. Wait, WTF if she quit why are they doing a wellness check on her? Pretending like she didn't leave? There is a valuable lesson for everyone here don't talk to cops. They are not your friends and not here to help. You answer simply I'm good. Everything is all right. If they press the issue, am I being detained? People need to learn not to talk to cops in situations like this. Don't talk to cops. Never, ever, talk to the police. They are not your friend. You have the right to remain silent always invoke that right. Another example of why you should never talk to cops. Unfortunately it will be difficult to sue the police. The police simply escort the person to the hospital for evaluation. If she is being held for five days, it is because a licensed medical professional made that determination at the hospital. Also what state? Most state laws require a hearing after 72 hours so now that is another layer that may have ruled against her. I could have was the magic words. I'm sorry to say this, but there is no lawsuit here against the police. Perhaps the place of employment for the unnecessary wellness check. Do not talk to cops. Don't. Do. Not. Talk. To. Cops. It's a mandatory five-day hold. TBH, she answered their questions extremely poorly saying I could have to if she had thoughts of harming yourself or others instead of a simple no. They have a legal obligation to hold her there because of that answer alone to protect herself or the public. Don't talk to the police if you didn't summon them. So your friend told the cops she may harm herself or others, and is surprised they took her to be evaluated? What did she think the cops will do? Just walk away and take the risk she may do that? No offense, but if someone in my neighborhood told the police they are thinking about harming people, I would be damn pleased they are being evaluated. Your WTF reaction here is a bit naive. Never talk to the cops. Well, your friend told the comps she is suicidal so they took her to the mental hospital to protect herself and others. It sucks but saying this kinds of things to cops seems kinda strange. Do not ever talk to police. This is why. Wow that is one toxic work environment if they call the cops on people that quit. 
Unfortunately she did not know the one rule of mental health care in this country unless you're talking to a therapist you've chosen to see that has earned your trust, you lie. You do not reveal insomnia or passing harmful thoughts. Especially to cops. Their job is to lock people up, so never give them a reason to. Her husband cannot force the hospital to release her? Do. Not. Talk. To. Cops. She was detained because she hinted that she might be suicidal. Every state has a temporary hold for mental illness. That usually lasts long enough to be evaluated by a psychiatric team who then decide how long you stay if at all. That evaluation is hard to fuck up, and you have to make it clear that you are suicidal or dangerous in some way. The system is overwhelmed every day in every state and they don't hold you for no reason. She may not be truthful with you, but she at some point made it clear that she was at risk. My only advice to your friend is the same I give to anyone. Never talk to the police without a lawyer present. They are there to enforce laws and she freely admitted to being in an unwell state of mind which is a detainable offence for some reason. She screwed up and now has to suffer the consequences. It is an unfortunate situation for all. Hopefully she is released soon. She wasn't arrested. She was taken to a hospital because she told the officer that she was possibly a threat to herself and or others. At that point the police legally had no choice but to take her in. I see several people still saying they'll make the call, so I'm going to say one last thing before I leave this thread. If you call the cops on someone who is not white cisgender non-disabled above poverty line Christian male, and is not actively hurting or trying to hurt someone, you are a piece of shit. And when the cops do what cops do, the blood is just as much on your hands. Years ago my little brother sent me and my parents a goodbye email. He was in another state. When I saw it I called the cops in his city and asked them to go check on them. I would have been perfectly happy with them arresting him and locking him up, to keep him from doing what he did. My call wasn't in time. So, yes, the police are a very blunt instrument and aren't good at mental health evaluation, but being able to get them to drop in on someone you're worried about can be a good thing. Everyone needs to take a second, think, and realize how fake this story is. She's on a five-day hold. The Baker Act is 72 hours. So they handcuffed her as she's screaming for her husband to intervene. But they took her away and she was able to make a phone call from the mental hospital to tell me. She has a husband who she was screaming for, but she called OP, who is a work friend. Looks like it's time to think you hear someone calling for help from a certain manager's house at 3am every night for the next month or so. The police basically have to take you to the hospital if you tell them you're suicidal or might hurt someone else. If she wasn't truly in danger the hospital should have released her after evaluating her, so I'm not sure what happened there that she got put on a hold. Why would she tell the cops she could have harmed herself or others? Regardless of what HR does, whether this is out of spite or genuine concern, she's in the hospital because of what she said lol. She also clearly didn't pass a psych evil if she's being kept that long. She was Baker acted because of her response to the police questions. They have to get her a psych evil to do that. Apparently the doctor she saw thought she was a danger to herself. Contact the facility. Never talk to cops smh. Cops are not your friends. As soon as she said she could have hurt somebody she's an immediate psych evaluation. I've had to learn the hard way that all you should say in these situations is I'm doing well. Have a nice day. Honesty only gets you arrested and in a significantly worse state. Under no circumstances should a cop be immediately trusted. Wellness checks are bad enough as is. Your employer calling one on you is next level dystopia. Saying you are thinking of harming yourself or others triggers a necessary hospital stay in some states. There is a whole industry around it. Watch Unsane. Let this be a lesson to you all never talk to cops. I don't think I have ever seen a dumber string of comments on a topic in this sub. Lesson here, never talk to the cops without a lawyer.